Hey everyone, this is uh, David from Evo in Cape Town again. Uh, just checking in on my second day of training. Don't worry, it won't always be about me. Hopefully some of my clients will happily come on video as well. Uh, up to date, got some dips and that. I'm running on the last week of my modified uh, 531 setup from Jim Wendler. I really enjoy the program. Very simple setup. I get the big moves in and then get out again. First up with uh, the dips today, I've replaced the bench press with the heavy dips for the moment as my shoulders were getting a little bit uh, beat up from uh, the wide powerlifting grip on the bench. So I'm going to give it a break for a while and introduce these dips. Uh, the dip bars, just shout out to the guys at Evolve Concepts in Cape Town. Ryan and Robbie made these for us. I think my only complaint with them is they're a little bit uh, on the short side. should be a little bit higher, but a uh, good solid set of uh, dip bars. As you can see, I, I still tend to faff around on all my setups. I like to get myself into a comfortable position, set my shoulders back and down, and then from here, the first one's always a bit, a bit of a tough one for me. My shoulders still feel a bit niggly, and then from there, everything seems to be all right. Should just be three reps here, nice and slow and controlled on these. As I say, my shoulders still feel a bit iffy. This is my final set, going for as many as I can. Trying to get this bloody uh, dip belt on, got it up pretty tight so to, uh, it wouldn't touch the floor when I was dipping. Again, I go through the same kind of rituals when I set up, make sure my hands are equal position, shoulders down and back, try and keep my chest up, and squeeze the hell out of the bar as well. Nice controlled dip on the way down. I think I wanted to stop at five here. I think I went for I went for six in the end, and actually, despite a little bit of a grind, it was all right. And as you'll see from the next part when I finish, even uh, the the so-called professionals can make a complete tit of themselves as well at the same time, as you'll see just now. There we go, final lockout. I'm so glad I wasn't a commercial gym when I did this. I done the thing up so bloody tight I couldn't actually get it off again afterwards. I literally have to undress myself out of it. Fortunately, again, no commercial gym and nobody was actually at Evo today. So I was able to, to get away with it. But here we go. Now I've put it on the internet so everyone can see what a tit I was. Here we <laughs> Yes. <laughs> here we go. After this, I went on to weighted chins. I've got some mobility issues with my overhead press. So I've taken them out and put some high volume chin ups in here. Just going for five sets of eight with uh, 18 after some warm ups here. Um, first set felt alright. I think because I've just jumped into them uh, fairly quickly and loaded the weight fairly quickly as well. My elbows are taking a little bit of strain and probably doesn't help because I'm not going to a full range of motion here. I actually didn't check the video until the end of the second set and it's when I noticed I wasn't going to full extension and I always crap on my clients about going to f for full range of motion so it's the best uh, I lead by example as well. This is the second set. Biceps are still pretty pumped from the first set. Yeah, even my first rep there. I'm not getting anywhere near full range of motion. No rep. No rep. No rep. Here we go. One rep. Two reps, excellent. Okay, so I've got a possible two reps there out of a supposed eight. So I then decided to get the full range on this after checking the video and went for the dead hang, or the full hang, sorry, each time in full extension. Feel a lot harder, obviously a bit fatigued as well already, but that extra several uh, centimeters of uh, of extension makes a big difference which is why you never see people at commercial gyms doing proper chin ups either it's too hard set four something fucked up set five gratuitous no top shot uh, being a previous fatty I uh, I'm quite vain in that regard and uh, I actually don't give a shit so is uh, I think the last set for five reps as my friend Lillian Durban, off the grid athletics, proud of getting my, my Christmas tree going.
going on the bottom of the back there as well. Happy days. But uh, otherwise, <laughs> I'm feeling fairly shit with my chin-ups at the moment. They'll come, though. They'll come. After this, I went over to the band push-ups. Because I've taken the bench out, I still want to keep some pressing movements in. And I actually uh, was chatting with uh, um, John Schofield and Rachel uh, Cawthorn about these uh, couple of British Olympic athletes who were at the gym the other day. And I actually hadn't seen these before, so I thought I'd keep these in the video. Good for if you're traveling and that. This band is uh, one of the monster bands from I'm Woody Fitness in the US. Uh, it's about 25 to 80 pounds or 10 to 35 kilos of added resistance, um, depending on how far through the motion you are. Um, also, I hit several sets of these in the end, but it was just nice to, to show some extra variance for, for push-ups, especially if you're traveling without having to take weights with you, or even if you're in the gym and somebody trying to load weights on your back. And obviously the resistance kicks in at the top. Nice bit of lockout. Anyway, that was my uh, session for the day. Keep well, guys. Cheers.